The Netflix comedy stars Rebel Wilson as Stephanie Conway, a high school senior who spends two decades in a coma after a cheerleading accident. The film, which marks Alex Hardcastle's feature directorial debut, harkens back to a time when Stephanie's entire universe revolved around high school. Stephanie is in a pickle at the end of her senior year. Seth and Martha, her pals, are annoyed with her since she continues to ignore them in order to regain popularity and, at long last, become prom queen. Stephanie wins prom queen after Brie Loves, a social media influencer, drops out, much to her mother Tiffany's chagrin. Stephanie realizes that being prom queen isn't the most important thing. She reconciles with Seth and Martha and receives her GED. Stephanie went through a lot in the movie, but she discovered a lot about herself before it was ended, truths that aided her development. Here's how senior year ends, as well as why the movie features a whole chapter dedicated to Britney Spears. You Drive Me, crazy music video, and what Stephanie's trip really signifies. Stephanie's first thought after waking up is to return to high school to finish her senior year, when prom queen and graduate. Returning to high school after missing decades of one's life may not be the first thing that comes to mind. Stephanie, on the other hand, is determined about returning because she has lost that moment in her life. She fondly recalls high school as a high point in her life, an epoch in which she believed she was finally succeeding. Stephanie wanted to see things through to the end because there were so many unfulfilled moments in her life. Stephanie was also befuddled after coming up from a 20-year coma. She had no idea what she was meant to do in the first place. She was only familiar with high school. It was also her safe haven in a world that no longer seemed familiar to her, making new acquaintances who could help her comprehend the changes in social media, pop culture, and technology in a somewhat secure environment was crucial. Returning to high school made a lot of sense for Stephanie, who despite being 37 still had the attitude of a 17-year-old. Stephanie's senior year is full of occasions when she imagines herself doing something different in her head, mainly dancing in a really cool way than what she is actually doing in reality. Stephanie envisions a dramatic entrance, slow-motion hair tosses, and everyone stopping to stare in admiration when she first arrives at her high school as an adult. The same thing happens when she and her pals are suddenly shown reenacting Britney Spears' You Drive Me crazy music video, complete with dance. It appears sudden in the film, but it makes a lot more sense after it's proven that it's just another moment in Stephanie's memory. This is due to the fact that Stephanie perceives herself differently than others do. She's immersed in the idea of being well-liked and respected by everyone. As a result, everything she does appears to be a lot cooler than it actually is. Dancing around the living room with her pals becomes suddenly more glamorous, while simultaneously hearkening back to Stephanie's high school years. Stephanie, at 37 years old, still has a lot of catching up to accomplish in her life. She's finished at least one item she missed out on due to her coma now that she's graduated from high school. Stephanie can finally concentrate on her future rather than her past. Stephanie's future and potential professional options aren't mapped out as of the conclusion of senior year, but that's lovely in its own right. Stephanie has a lot of alternatives ahead of her. She can go to college, find a career, or take some time off to rediscover herself and what she wants now that high school has ended. Stephanie may even become a high school counselor if she desires, given how well she connected with the Harding High students. Stephanie was a high school student during the early aughts, but senior year is heavy on nostalgia. Throughout the film, music is a key aspect of the era's pop culture. The cheerleader's dance routine includes Mandy Moore's Candy, Nellis, Hot and Hair, and Kelly Clarkson's Moment Like This, all of which are shown in the video. Stephanie's role as a cheerleader is reminiscent of Bring It On, as is her tumble while doing a dance. Tiffany declares at one point that she is MTV, but Stephanie is more VH1 in terms of popularity. The concept of returning to high school is a nod to Drew Barrymore's film Never Been Kissed. 13 Going on 30 starring Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo is likewise about having a youthful mindset while trapped in an adult body. There's also the You Drive Me crazy portion, which is almost identical to Britney Spears' famous video in terms of editing. Stephanie had been chasing fame and the title of prom queen for so long that she had forgotten what her life meant or was without them, or even what her future held if she didn't achieve them. As senior year came to a close, she realized she had neglected her true friends in favor of superficial titles and meaningless connections. Stephanie was now seeing what was in front of her and realizing that she had faithful friends in Seth and Martha, as well as new friends from high school, who would always be there for her and genuinely cared about her well-being. 
Rebel Wilson's character discovered she didn't need to be engrossed in high school drama, when she could be cultivating genuine relationships and improving herself in other ways. Stephanie's eyes were finally opened to the real deal of her life at the end of senior year, allowing her to move forward in a genuine way that wasn't tied to anything that wasn't fulfilling or important.